Uh, what do you know about Keon Crossing? I know he can run very fast. <laughs> That's a good thing. Now, Keon's been in this league for, uh, I think his fourth year now. And a veteran player who's been an outstanding gunner and penetrator, and that's what we're looking for. And, you know, that's why we made the move to get him. So uh, he's going to come in. He has a role, and I look forward to coaching him and, and having him in the building. Seems like a real ple really pleasant guy. A lot of, lot of good things are being said about him. T-Mac, there have been times in the past when you've been here that we've talked to you about, you know, special teams guys, coaches, just coach who's there, who mm -hmm. you can coach. Is it kind of a statement of how you guys feel how, about your units when you want to make a deal for, for Keon, who is as accomplished as he is on special teams? Yeah, I mean, it just shows that it's important. You know, it's, it's no different than offense and defense. You know, when you when you have a need, you need to fill a need, you, you're going to make the moves as an organization to get those those needs felt, uh, needs met. And, uh, you know, he's going to definitely fill a need for us. Thomas, I know you have a proven quantity in Graham, but I mean, just watching uh, Santoso on the field on the Wednesday night when the fans were there and then Saturday, he's got a big leg. I mean, how does he fit in? You know, he has a job to do. He's a kicker. He's going in here, he's competing for a job, and not only is he, you know, competing for a job here, he's competing for a job all over the league. And, uh, you know, Ryan is a, you know, he has great upside. He's a good man. He works his tail off. And, uh, you know, that's what this league's all about. It's about competition, you know, and, and hopefully uh, Ryan can do enough to where he can get him a job, you know, whether it's here or somewhere else. Do you consider him as a kickoff guy? He can do whatever. Ryan can punt, kick. You know, he's I'm serious. I mean, he's he's very talented. And he's punted in NFL games before. He's kicked off. Uh, he can kick field goals. So, you know, Ryan is a very talented young man. Do you plan to give him all the work in the game? Or will Graham get some? Yeah, he'll, he'll get – the primary workload. We're going to ramp, you know, Graham up slowly. Uh, you know, he's done it. This is Graham's 12th year, I think. And, you know, he's done it for at a high level for a long time. So we're going to let him work himself into, uh, you know, to his to where he feels comfortable, and then we'll go from there. We don't Deep. normally see guy outside linebackers running out at Gunner and running down the field. That's kind of what you had, you know, Cam Brown doing. Yeah. But went into the thought process of putting him there and sort of how, how what have you seen? Cam's just a, a unique individual. You know, I told you guys last year, we expect a lot of him, a lot of him because he has a lot to give. You know, he's very talented. Uh, he's, a, he's a rare bird. He's just different. You know, you're a six foot five, 230 pound guy that can run like a deer. I mean, you don't see a lot of guys like that. So when you have that type of skill set, uh, he 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 poses a problem to, you know, to the opponent. You know, big, strong, long, you know, smart football player. You know, who has ability and and he you know he's got young legs. You know, so he can run all day. So it's uh, it's fun to coach him. And we're excited to watch him play. Does length matter? Is he the biggest gunner you've ever been around? Uh, I've been around some big ones. You know, Brandon Marshall, when he was a rookie, he played, you know, for me in, in Denver. He was about the same size as, <laughs> about the same size as, as Cam. So, uh, but no, his, his length, his length does make a big difference. His in length and strength. Well, just being able to use it at the line of scrimmage. You know, most of the time, you know, you're at the vice and they're trying to grab and hold you. If I can stick my long arm out there and stop you from grabbing me and I can get on an edge, that, make, that gives me an advantage because now I can just open up and run, you know, and I can power through you. So now I'm going to put you in a trail position and now I can just punch the gas and go. So, you know, using that length, the strength, and being able to bend and come out of his hips, that's a whole different skill set than – you know, combined with the length. I always tell people long levers are strong levers. So if I can bend and come out of my hips and I can use my length, that guy that's on the other side of the line of scrimmage is normally 5'11", 5'10", 190, 195, maybe 200 pounds, you know, and I'm 230 and I got more length and I can bend, I'm going to win that matchup most of the time. How do you see the uh, long snapper competition? You know, both of those guys are working their tail off, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll see where it ends up. But they're, they're back there competing and you know they're doing the job both of them are doing very well who are you leaning on uh, how many different types of punts does he have we see him working on all kinds of things and how can how difficult is it to maintain consistency when you're hitting that many different kinds of kicks uh you know riley has has a few kicks in his bag you know uh, he's working on a few different things and you know we're really you know when we work with him we're really focused on 
one punt at a time so we don't you know we're not all over the map and we have a plan with him when he's out there working so but no he's he's doing a nice job of developing the tool bag so we're just going to keep working to see where we end up Last time we talked to you, you said Kadarius had to prove himself just like anyone else. How can he prove himself if he's not on the field? It's kind of hard to do, you know, and that's just the reality of it. You know, he'll get out there eventually. And uh, you know, Kadarius smart kid, works his tail off, and, you know, he's just got to get through, you know, his, his situation right now. Once he gets through a situation, he'll be fine. He's just got to, you know, he's got to keep working. You know, whenever he shows up and, and – He's ready to go. He'll be ready to go. It's no secret that like a wide receiver down the depth chart has to probably play special teams to make a rush spot. Do you have guys like begging for reps and then trying to get out there more? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they get it and they understand it. And it comes from the top. You know, Joe talks about in the meetings all the time. You know, guys that are able to cover kicks and, and they can add value to the football team. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for guys that can add value. You know, we're going to build a roster from the top down to the bottom up. So. We get in a situation to where, you know, we got to go to another guy, pull a guy off the practice squad. He has to be – he's not going to step right in and, and beat out Kenny Galladay. He ain't taking his spot. We're going to pull him up so he can run down on kickoff and provide depth. How do you manage that with the preseason game reps where you might have three punts, you might have one punt, you don't know, and then you want to see the guys who are going to play on Sundays. You also want to – It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. You know, going to Cleveland this week will be big. You know, those practice sessions that we'll have against those guys will be big. So guys will be able to get out there and go against other competition. And uh, you'll be able to evaluate them then. Uh, you know, when we go to New England, same thing, you know, the practices. But you're right. You're limited in your preseason exposures to them because of the reps. The reps might dictate there's only two or three kickoffs. You know, or it might dictate that it's only two or three punts. You know, so, again, a lot of stuff. The most important thing we do is practice. So. A lot of the things we do are evaluated in practice. Along those lines, I know it's a little off beat, but the other night, Joe decides to, to punt in the you know in, in your own territory, gives you guys an opportunity you down it inside the ten. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was intentional, didn't get a chance to talk to Joe, but from your perspective, I would imagine you're thrilled to get that unit out in that Absolutely. situation. Absolutely, you know, and it, you know, you, anytime you can down a ball inside the ten. Uh, the percentages of you stopping the other team from scoring go up. And that's what we do. We play the percentages. And to be able to evaluate our gunners, to be able to evaluate our punt team, be able to evaluate those guys and see what they can do and, you know, how they perform. You know, Matt Cole went down there and made a good play and, you know, it was big for him. Speaking of evaluation, um, just talking about what you saw from Matt Cole. You know, Matt did a great job. He did. He came in right off the street, jumped right in and did a hell of a job. You know, he went down there and down the ball inside the five. He, he had some nice releases as a gunner. Um, you know, he showed his speed. He showed what he was. You know, so that, that was definitely a plus for him. We'll take two more. Are you in communication with Nate Ebner throughout camp? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, we're always, you know, Nate's a, a good man, and I haven't talked to him in a while, but he texts back and forth with Joe. And, uh, you know, but. Nate's in a good spot right now. He's just rehabbing, and you know, hopefully we can get him back. Who are you leaning on to be like your veteran conduits there on, on teams, like guys like Jabril or Julian? Yeah, or I mean, we got we got some good young guys that have been around. Uh, you know, Jabril was our special teams captain last year, one of them, and uh, you know, I'll lean on him definitely heavily. Uh, he does a hell of a job with our guys and, and getting them ready and 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 just being a great example on how to prepare and how to work every day. So. We got, we got a, a really good group of men that understand what it takes to play at a high level. And uh, we just got to build and help these young guys bring them along. What do you see from, you have two fullbacks uh, running with a lot of your specials. What, mm -hmm. do you, what do you see from those guys and how that competition kind of goes? Those guys are football players, you know, regardless of position. And uh, they're two really good football players. And they provide uh, good teams value and depth. Uh, but. They're football players first, and, and that's, how, that's how we see them. And, and, you know, they're doing a heck of a job, both of them.